Morning folks, it's 525 in the morning. It is 40.5 degrees on the very first day of August. I'm waking up for the very last time in Yellowstone National Park. Waking up for the very last time in the super lovely state of Wyoming. Today we will leave Yellowstone, today we will leave Wyoming, and we will get into Montana. Getting up. There's one moose. All right, good morning again, folks. It is 6.49 in the morning uh, and 46.6 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm um, just walking out from whatever it was, what Whiskey Bravo won. Um, again, having camped, I don't know what, maybe 200 yards off, uh, just on account of wind and food storage and stuff like that. Uh, beautiful morning, man. Chilly, um, not quite as chilly as it's been the past couple mornings, but I'll tell you one, uh, one advantage of these chilly mornings, if there's a silver lining, is that the mosquitoes don't like it very much either. Um, I found mosquitoes typically, at least so far on this hike, I can't speak for mosquitoes all around the world, but at least so far on this hike, it seems to me that mosquitoes will stay dormant until like the mid 40s, maybe a little warmer. Um, so they're probably just just waking up and realizing that they missed the party So which is all the better for me. They're kind of uninvited but um Anyways, uh Yeah today, so Look, I know I did a 37 or 38 mile road walk the other day a couple days ago It was boring. It was arduous It was stressful And I'm, I know I'm only probably 35 or whatever, 37, I don't really know. I can't calculate the exact distance uh, if I were to take the road walk from, from uh, Big Sky right now as I wake up. But I just don't think I wanna, there's two, two things. First, I really don't think I wanna do a 35 mile road walk in a day again. It was just, it's just not, it's just not fun. Like, it's cool to get in miles, but it's just not fun, what's the point? Um, and then the second component is that really I'm not trying to stay in Big Sky. As I've said a few times, it's, you know, half a grand just to bunk up for a night in Big Sky. And I'm not trying to do that. I can't do that. I mean, I just don't have the money for that. So, um, so that leaves just more questions though, really. So I'm like four miles on trail, four trail miles on a trail from, from the road. One way or another, I'm going to be walking on some road today. Um... And then I could take that road to another trail. The most ambitious would be to take that road to another trail and cut off to the northeast, which is kind of the opposite. Well, not the opposite, but I want to be heading northwest to Big Sky. Heading northeast would obviously take me northeast instead of northwest. Um, but then I could link up with that Sky Rim Trail and do some, some stretch of that on my way out of Yellowstone. <sighs> but I'm also just feeling tired. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I'm going to be thinking about it. I think what I might wind up doing, as much as this is kind of the exact opposite of what I just said, is road walking a bunch. Um, I just really want to get close to Big Sky. The buses uh, run at 45 minutes past the hour on the 8 o'clock hour, 9 o'clock hour. And then it's like 3, 5, 7, and 11 p.m. Um, and it'd be cool to catch that 9.45 bus, 8 or 9.45 bus, or whatever it is, uh, to get up to Bozeman. But this is like two days ahead now. 
And it also kind of looks like right along the highway, there's all sorts of um, campsites and stuff like that that I could potentially get into or just pitch up or something. We'll kind of see how it goes, as always. Um, yeah, excited to be getting to Montana, that's for sure. Uh, I'm not gonna blabber away too much longer. I think I'm gonna go ahead and snap off. I know there were other things I wanted to say. I just can't remember them right now, per usual. I gotta start keeping a list. I will check in with you guys just a little bit later on. Talk to you then. All right, it might seem like a silly thing to want to say, but I remembered what I was going to say, which is that uh, yesterday, after I got to camp and started processing video, um, I got one video processed the first day I, I got to Yellowstone, and then it was rendering, which is a process that takes a considerable amount of time, maybe 40 minutes or more, during which my phone I, is completely unusable because it's using all the resources to render the video. This is just how it goes. So in that 40-minute period, I was... Uh, laying down, kind of sweating in the afternoon heat in my tent and decided there's a river right there, so I'd go take a little, another little river bath, which was really nice and brought, uh, brought my buff and my little microfiber towel and uh, I brought my GoPro, I was kind of hoping there might be some kind of like tasteful, artistic uh, way to uh, <laughs> make it look all like natural and beautiful and refreshing and it was it was all those things for sure it was all those things in spades but um i wound up not not recording any of it because uh well it's just i mean who wants to see a hairy stinky hiker take a bath in a river really um so sorry if that was you that wanted to see that but <laughs> no video was shot but it was really really nice and a great 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 decision really really nice just to get down there and wash off wash off a little bit and uh, get some sweat off of me, um, get some salt off of me. So today I'm feeling nice, nice and fresh. I mean, my clothes are still disgusting, but um, whatever, my body's clean. So anyways, that's it. <laughs> wow, looks like someone uh, left me a present last night. This is super fresh and I believe I believe that's bear. Maybe a half mile from camp. Uh. I'm dreaming of Montana, the land I love. But now my wandering 
guys 4 54 p.m don't really know the temperature i'd guess around 80 i don't really know made it to big sky this is the junction of the road i walked in on gallatin road i guess everything's gallatin here and uh 64 i think is the road that kind of goes into like the resort well i was planning on picking up this bus to get down to bozeman uh another couple miles into town howdy howdy but then it pulled right up so i had to break a bill at the gas station and now i'm on my way up to bozeman check in with you i want to get there all right, 558. Just got dropped off at the intersection of East Main, South Black Avenue, and Bozeman, right around the corner from the hostel. I'm gonna get checked in and then I'll figure out what I'm doing after. All right, guys, all checked in. I am in room 11, which is a three bunk room. And my bunk is this guy right here. Got a little bit of a mini hiker explosion happening. I gotta get to take a shower, man. I gotta take a shower. They're gonna let me use the laundry here too, which is cool. And then I think uh, I'm in this bunk tonight. And then the next two nights, I have a private room, but a different private room each night, I think. So whatever. Um, and then I think maybe one more night in a shared room as well. But I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna get cleaned up. Maybe I'll check back in. I'm not quite sure. We'll see.